Welcome back to News 4 at 6. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to fly in and out of BNA during the Christmas holiday. And if you're not careful, those luggage fees can add up fast. News 4 Investigates has uncovered those scales weighing your bags aren't always accurate. Here's consumer investigator Lindsay Bramson. It doesn't matter how many bags you check, even if you're just one pound over that 50 pound weight limit, say like this one pound hand weight that cost me seven bucks online, it could end up costing you $100 per bag in overweight baggage fees. It's looking like we might have to, you know, finagle our bags to fit, but we make it happen. It's the hold your breath moment many travelers face, where you hope your stuffed bag doesn't tip the scales at the check-in counter and tack on additional baggage fees. But have you ever wondered if those scales are ever wrong? News 4 investigates tagged along with a state inspector with the Weights and Measures Department as he checked multiple scales at BNA. So the main thing we're looking for is accuracy on these scales. So we'll do the open ones and just go down the line and we'll check all those scales in a day. While we were there, all the scales passed the test. But News 4 Investigates found out since 2016, half a dozen scales failed inspection. Those airlines include Alaska, Frontier and Delta, which could mean some travelers might have paid overweight baggage fees for no reason. Yes. Did you know the state no. came out and did that? Uh-uh, I didn't know that. And it's not just BNA. Back in August, 16 scales were taken out of service at the airport in Phoenix for being wrong. You never like question if someone's coming out to check them. You know, you have to take the airport's word for it. And just know in the meantime, inspectors with the state are looking out for you and your wallet. Lindsey Bramson, News 4 Investigates. Now, we reached out to Alaska Airlines, Frontier, and Delta for comment since those were the airlines that failed inspections. Delta would not comment specifically on the failed inspections, only saying that they encourage passengers to weigh their bags before getting to the airport. We did not hear back from the other two airlines by the time this story's aired.